Hi, I'm Pat North, and I'm going to talk to you today about image data exploitation. And this is where your domain-specific target phenomenology plugs in to generate some type of intelligence. So let's just take a nautical example, and I have a bunch of different types of boats. Maybe I've got a speedboat. I've got a cargo vessel, and I've got a military vessel. And each one of these targets of interest has different parameter configurations. So, for example, our speedboat, maybe it has a bunch of different ways that it can sail around. Maybe I've got, you know, my speedboat that's just a pleasure cruise driving around. It's what, when, and where is going to look very different than, let's say, a drug running boat where, you know, the normal boat looks, you know, you, you have your certain set of materials, but your drug runner's got some type of canopy and they're sailing around differently to avoid detection, things like that. All of these are your target signatures, but you combine these with your collection systems and your conditions. So this is how you collected it and what did it look like when you collected it to produce some type of image data. And this image data is going to be then exploited in here, but that's, that can be done a number of different ways. It can be done with a human analyst. It can be done with some type of exploitation algorithm or it can be some type of machine learning loop where you're taking these known parameters and you're combining them with the image data and you're producing some type of intelligence and then this intelligence is going to be evaluated with a number of different criteria. So for example, maybe the intelligence is going to be evaluated on, you know, so you've got your probability of detection, you've got your um, percent confidence, or you've got some type of timeliness. So we've got our probability of detection, and we've got, um, you know, percent confidence. So all of these different things are th ways that you can say if we change the tactics or the exploitation algorithm parameters, we can improve each of these different metrics that we're evaluating the intelligence on. But if we zoom out a little bit, we can say, well, what if we've got an entire enterprise that we're evaluating these for? Now I can take my entire suite of enterprise collection systems and plug it in with all the different target signatures and start evaluating enterprise level metrics so I can drive things like investments in research and development or new systems coming online or new exploitation algorithms being developed. So all of those let me then say based on the enterprise characteristics of the intelligence that I'm trying to gather where would those investments be best placed. And that's it. Thanks for watching.